Hello my friends, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the image trace effect inside of Affinity Studio, right? To achieve better results working with your vector acts, right? Very very simple steps and of course I'm going to be guiding you through what to do and what not to do when you're using image trace. If you're not subscribed to this channel, make sure you're subscribed and make sure you turn on the post notifications so that you don't miss any videos I'll be dropping anytime from now, right? Without having to say much, let's jump right into this. So this is my interface, right? If you've not watched my video about the interface of Affinity, you can check out my last video that I did about Affinity Studio, right? This latest update. So I'm going to start this image trace process with this first image here, right? You can see it's a uh, image. I don't have layers. You can see it's just there like that. It's just an image. So the first thing you need to understand is Affinity has several stu um, studios inside of it and I'm currently on the vector. So I'm going to click on vector and click on image trace. Immediately I'm going to have this and you can see that this is what you have. But to see things in real time, of course it's giving you things in real time. So I need to see the before and after. So you can see that when I zoom close, you can see. So you have to work with the... Um, the curve fitting tolerance and the edge control to get your best results. So for text, our advice, you make sure the curve fitting tolerance is minimal like this, right? And um, of course, for the edge control, you can still play with that. For this particular image, I'm going to apply these settings that actually works. So you can see now I now have layers. So I can now modify this image by changing the background. And of course, I would further modify by removing and modifying these um, shapes you know i converted it to curve so it's not going to be also perfect like that so select this select this select the letter b and i'm going to use this um, effect here to subtract it subtract like this select this select the arrow subtract this also All right so i'm going to move up here select this also you know what we have to do subtract this here Right, so I can now make changes to this and I'm making this red. And of course, this. Um, I'm going to add a rectangle shape here because it was in the original one. So I'm just going to add this and I'm um, just manually put this back. Right. And to make this white while I make the letters red you can also group them ctrl g to group them right and um this i'm just going to reduce the color here reducing the color here so i'm just going to close this up and um, select it make a duplicate copy of this ctrl j to make this or hold down your alt key while you drag to make a duplicate copy of this so i'm just going to make this black to create a variation of this and i can make this blue i love using the wheel right so and i can also change this to select the three of them and use my eyedropper tool to select this color if you don't want the magnification you can turn it off and use just this right so this is what i have working for me and i am good to go you can see perfect perfect tracing right so i can select the two of them and delete them let me show you another example so another example is uh, i'm going to be using something more complex than the first image that i used i'm going to be using this so i'm just going to drag and drop inside or you can use the open command right so you can see this image um it's also a raster image i'm going to click on image trace and this is going to pop out so i love using the different after so i can see what i'm doing in real time and of course most times it's in pixel view so you want to change it back to vector view mode like this right so in vector view mode you can see that all the edges are perfect and um, a little bit of um, tweaking here and there and we can get our desired results right so what i want to do is i'm just going to increase this up and this is just amazing right super amazing this is super cool right so you can play with the curve fitting tolerance here you can see it doesn't really um affect this that much right 
so you can click apply when you're done you can see even the signature is also safe this is incredible what they have done with the images inside of affinity studio it's perfect right so with this um i can select all of this and select this and make changes that i want to with this image right so for instance i can choose to um change the color here give it this orange feel having this funky orange vibe or using my gradients now this is the feel and it is like a gradient tool i can add two or more colors so i'm just going to add this and i'm just going to uh, modify this um when i mean modifying it i can also change this from linear to elliptical right i can also reverse this right reverse this and um, i can play with the controls here like making sure this is in the middle i can position this just the way i want it and um, increase this so it feels like there's a backlight into this image itself and that's because i chose this image and it's now a vector image you can see how this has made our workflow easy right easy peasy so you get uh, a complicated jpeg file and you need to turn it into a vector file asap so this is how you go about it inside affinity studio right and then you can change the color here i'm just going to make this a bright yellow move this upward and of course affinity records your color that you're using in your documents and this is where you get the color here so you can change this up here and um, of course this is what you have you can see that nicely done right easy peasy no stress right so um and also this part here you cannot you can see that you can edit this also so it's a very very powerful tool inside here i'm going to delete this and i'm going to use a more complicated image like this image you're seeing here now when you bring this inside here make it small i'm holding down my control and alt key to use this proportionally go to vector and um, go up to image trace right and you can see that i have this going on so this is before and this is after right and uh, you can see how perfect this is right asap you can see how sharp this is of course you can toggle between pixel and vector mode to get the best out of what you want right you can see click on apply when you're done right so you can see the layers are on their own separate this is fantastic you can change the color right here and get the best out of this particular image right you can also change the color here and um the imagery effect is just on point right and um, i can also change the color here by moving my wheel and um I can get what i want to get out of this image right coming from just being uh, a jpeg to all of this right so i can also select these two parts here and uh, click on this to change the color and um, i also select the background and um, change the background here like this you can see it's changed I can add depth to it by um, changing the hue and uh, you can see it's now dark uh, I can delete this and uh, you can see how perfect this is right this is amazing super amazing now most times when you bring in your images you might have issues so i advise you opening your in your your vector like complicated vectors like this open it in a separate document now don't open it as part of your uh existing documents right so i'll use the open command here or use or just drag and drop like this the way i drag and drop right because most times you might and the image trees might not give you um perfect image tracing so open it in a separate document and then um on that pixel if you're working with a, a complicated on that canva ai if you're working with a complicated image maybe so rasterized you can use the sharp um it's called super resolution tool 
to increase the resolution of your image right so by clicking on and this only works if you have a canva pro account right so if you don't have a canva pro account it's not going to work so you can use this to make this you can see the difference guys this is amazing this could pass off as a vector file if you don't look at it well right so you can see that i have increased the resolution of this particular image you can take it up more than you can see that this is super cool right it has brought back most of the details so you can now go back to image trace and when you're using image trace after you use your super resolution it gives you the perfect result right you can see if i increase the core fitting and the head threshold it gives me this perfect image now this is what i mean you can see that yeah, it's on pixel mode i switch to vector mode you can see that this is just amazing right this is just amazing and if you are a canva pro if you have a canva pro account you can use the features of affinity design like generative fill remote background inside of affinity studio right inside of affinity studio but if you don't have you can use all of the other features that this um amazing software application has to offer right you can see that i'm changing the background and of course if you want to get this application you can watch my last video of how you can get it and um, yes download and of course like i said it's free to install free to use for life right so you can turn this up and um, this is what you have and this is looking impressive guys from just a simple jpeg file to this and you can also add noise here and uh, move this up here like this so this is just the cool thing about this you can add noise to anything you can add noise to any um any image like this just clicking on that and um it's quite impressive what they have done with this let me try this for the last one i'm just going to drag and drop you can see i'm open in a new document right it's not part of an existing file just to get the best out of what I want. So I can also use the sharp effect on this and make it sharp and um, all of that. Or better still, I just go straight. If you know that your image is sharp enough, you can just go straight into tracing this. You can see this is quite good too. So I can just go on and use the image trace. And um, of course, increase my threshold till I get the desired results I want. Uh, you can turn on this preview to see your before and after in real time and uh when you are okay with what this is giving you can click on apply like this and um, switch to vector and this is what you have right you can see i can zoom close to any part of this image to make my change because it's now a vector image right it's now a vector file right so guys if you've liked this video make sure you subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.